second wave coming in. There's that light snow chance Saturday and into Sunday. Mm, all right, Tom, thanks and happy birthday again to you. All right. teachers say they love their jobs, but many can't pay the bills. And Disney's already losing a billion dollars in streaming. Jane King has these stories and so much more. It's today's business report. An exclusive USA Today Ipsos poll of teachers finds an extraordinary level of job satisfaction. If they could pick a career all over again, three of four would still choose teaching. But there are broad complaints of salary and support. And by an overwhelming margin, they agree that public school teachers have the right to strike. Disney's stake in Hulu and its ownership of BamTech led to a loss of more than $1 billion in the latest fiscal year. Those losses will likely continue as Disney ramps up its own new streaming service. Streaming is a hard place to make money, even for Netflix. While the company consistently posts positive operating income, it has burned cash for years. And Spotify has a new feature that lets you block certain artists from appearing on your feed. Billboard says it added the feature after users complained that R. Kelly was showing up on their playlist. He's been accused of years of sexual abuse. Now, if you go to the artist Spotify landing page, all you have to do is find a new button labeled Don't Play This Artist, and it will block them. Starbucks rolling out its delivery service today. The company said it's launching the service in San Francisco and will expand to some stores in New York, Boston, Washington, Chicago, and Los Angeles in the coming weeks. It tested the idea in 200 Miami stores last fall. Starbucks says 95% of its core menu will be available for order using the Uber Eats mobile app. There will be a $2.50 booking fee. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King with your business update. Jane King, thanks so much. Let's take a look at how stocks are performing right now. Dow Jones Industrial Volatile down 285 points to sit at 24,420. NASDAQ Composite also tumbling hard, down 106 points to sit at 7,051. Absences are on the increase among TSA employees. The Transportation Security Administration is reporting unscheduled absences increased 10% over the weekend as the shutdown enters its fifth week. That's more than three times the normal absence rate from last year. However, the agency reports wait times for passengers still 30 minutes or less. According to the TSA, many employees who are not getting paid to work during the shutdown are not showing up due to financial hardships. Some airports did experience longer wait times in major cities, forcing the TSA to send additional staffing to airports around the nation. Those cities include New York, New Jersey, Chicago, Atlanta, and Miami. Well, the next time you fly, you just might have an empty seat next to you. It's good news for frequent flyers. According to the Wall Street Journal, U.S. airline carriers are adding larger jets and more rows to their fleets. As a result, passengers are discovering more open seats and bag space on flights. In November of last year, flights on U.S. carriers were 83% full. That's down from 86% in July, according to data, of course, from the Transportation Department. Now, that translates to about four more empty seats on a Boeing 737-800, crowded flights, and the race to avoid the dreaded middle seat are among the most common complaints from passengers. Chris? So officials in one town in Canada